Our journey begins with Maat, the goddess of truth, justice, and cosmic balance. This divine figure from the heart of ancient Egypt is often portrayed with an ostrich feather, a symbol of truth, atop her head. But it's not just her physical depiction that captivates us. It's the principles she represented. As the very embodiment of truth and moral integrity, Maat was believed to set the order of the universe, the stars, the seasons, and even the actions of both mortals and the deities. She was the heartbeat of the cosmic order, the rhythm of the sun's journey across the sky. Maat was the thread that wove together the fabric of existence, her principles serving as the foundation for Egyptian law and morality. Her role was so far-reaching that even the gods were subject to her. Indeed, Maat's significance lies in her role in maintaining order and harmony in the universe. Next on our list is Hathor, the goddess of love, joy, and motherhood. Captivatingly symbolized with cow horns and a sistrum, Hathor is a beacon of the tender beauty found in the nurturing aspects of life. She encompasses the warmth of love, the lightness of joy, and the profound bond of motherhood. Yet, Hathor's essence transcends these dimensions. She is also an emblem of music and dance, of rhythm and melody. Her sistrum, a musical instrument, is a testament to her deep connection with artistic expression, a conduit for joy and celebration. In the grand tapestry of life, Hathor weaves the threads of love, mirth, and creativity into a harmonious symphony. She embodies the concept that life isn't merely about existing, it's about living with passion, expressing oneself, and celebrating every moment. Hathor teaches us that love and joy are not mere emotions. They are the music of life. She's not just a goddess, she's a source of inspiration for creativity and celebration. Moving on to the revered Isis, often regarded as the mother of all. This divine figure from ancient Egypt is a beacon of maternal love, a testament to the unbreakable bond that exists between a mother and her child. Isis, with her wings of protection, encapsulates the essence of motherhood, nurturing life, and providing care with a love that is as deep as the Nile and as enduring as the pyramids. Her story is one of resilience and devotion. When her husband Osiris was cruelly cut down, it was Isis who searched tirelessly for his remains, bringing him back to life with her magic. And when their son Horus was in danger, it was Isis who protected him, ensuring the continuity of their lineage. In Isis we see the strength and determination inherent in every mother's love. Her story transcends time and continues to inspire. She is the embodiment of the eternal maternal bond, a testament to the power and endurance of love. Now let's shine a spotlight on Nefertari, the beloved wife of Ramses II. Known as the Queen of Beauty, Nefertari was more than just a royal spouse. She was a queen who commanded respect and admiration from her people and her husband alike. Her tomb, nestled in the heart of the Valley of the Queens, stands testament to her elegance and grace. Adorned with intricate hieroglyphs and exquisite frescoes, her final resting place is a breathtaking spectacle that captures the essence of her beauty in every detail. But Nefertari's legacy extends beyond her physical beauty. Her enduring love and partnership with Ramses II set a unique precedent in the annals of Egyptian royalty. She was not just a queen but an equal to the pharaoh, a confidant, and a trusted advisor. Their bond was a partnership that transcended the boundaries of a traditional royal marriage. Her legacy reflects not only her grace, but also the enduring love and partnership she shared with the great pharaoh. Enter the enchanting realm of Bastet, the cat goddess. This intriguing deity of the ancient Egyptian pantheon is a symbol of home, fertility, and protection. Bastet, with her captivating feline grace, embodies the allure and mystique of cats, an animal that was held in high regard in ancient Egypt. She's not just a goddess but a divine guardian of the home, ensuring the safety and prosperity of those within. Her connection with fertility signifies the nurturing aspect of home and family, reflecting the vital role of women as bearers of life. Furthermore, Bastet's association with protection goes beyond the physical realm, it extends to the spiritual world, safeguarding the souls of the departed on their journey to the afterlife. Her allure is not only in her divine duties but also in what she represents, the mysterious charm and elegance of cats, animals that were considered sacred. Cats were considered sacred animals, and Bastet was their divine guardian. Now let's explore the creator goddess Neith. In the grand tapestry of Egyptian mythology, Neith emerges as a primordial force, Often portrayed with a bow and arrow, she is not just a warrior, but a weaver of the cosmos. This ancient deity is known to have existed before the world came into being. She is the divine architect. 
a symbol of the boundless potential of creation itself. Her bow and arrow signify the fundamental principles of life, the act of pulling back and releasing, much like the eternal cycles of life, death, and rebirth. These cycles in their rhythmic recurrence shape our understanding of time and existence. Neith is not merely a figure of ancient lore, but a timeless symbol that resonates with the rhythm of life itself. She embodies the essence of creation, the perpetual ebb and flow of the universe. She's a symbol of creation and the eternal cycles of life. Adding to our list is Meritaten, the daughter of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Born into a royal lineage, Meritaten, whose name means she who is beloved of Aten, was more than just a princess. She stood as a beacon of the Amarna period, a time of significant religious upheaval in ancient Egypt. During this era, her father, Akhenaten, shifted the religious focus from the pantheon of traditional deities to the worship of Aten, the sun disk. Meritaten, taking on the mantle of the Sun Queen, was an emblem of this revolution. She was often depicted in art and inscriptions alongside her father, basking in the rays of the Aten, reflecting her pivotal role in this new religious order. Her life, while shrouded in mystery, offers a glimpse into the dynamic and evolving religious landscape of ancient Egypt. Known as the Sun Queen, Meritaten played a significant role during the Amarna period and symbolized the worship of the Aten, the sun disk. Let's honor Taweret, the goddess of pregnancy and childbirth. In the rich tapestry of Egyptian mythology, Taweret emerges as a unique figure, emblematic of the primal strength and nurturing care associated with motherhood. Her depiction as a protective hippopotamus, a creature known for its fierce maternal instincts, further underscores her role as a guardian of mothers and newborns. In a society where the perils of childbirth were all too real, Tawarat was a beacon of hope and a source of comfort. Her image was often invoked to ward off evil spirits and ensure a safe and successful birthing process. It was believed that her powerful presence could guide mothers through the challenges of labor, bringing new life into the world with grace and dignity. Tawarat's influence extended beyond the birthing room. She was also a symbol of fertility and prosperity, her protection sought by all who hoped for a bright and fruitful future. Tawaret was revered for her role in ensuring the well-being of mothers and infants during the birthing process. Returning to the divine realm, we encounter Sekhmet, the lioness goddess. A deity as captivating as she is fearsome, Sekhmet embodies the dual nature of the lioness, protective of her own, yet fearsome to her foes. Her beauty isn't just skin deep, it's a representation of the force of nature she embodies. In the pantheon of ancient Egyptian deities, Sekhmet holds a special place. She is a symbol of ferocity, a guardian of pharaohs, and a warrior goddess who led armies into battle. Yet, she also represents healing, displaying a nurturing side that is often overlooked. Her name, meaning the powerful one, is a testament to her might. But Sekhmet's power is not merely destructive. It is also protective and regenerative, a force that defends the innocent and helps them overcome adversity. This duality, this balance between destruction and protection, is what makes Sekhmet truly fascinating. Sekhmet symbolizes the power to defend and the strength to overcome adversity. Concluding our journey is Cleopatra, the last pharaoh. Born into the Ptolemaic dynasty, Cleopatra VII was more than just a beautiful monarch. She was a woman of profound intellect and undeniable charisma. Fluent in several languages, she was a persuasive orator, a skillful diplomat and a cunning strategist. Her political acumen was evident in her astute alliances with Rome's most powerful men, Julius Caesar and later, Mark Antony. Cleopatra's reign was a time of political intrigue and power struggles. But she navigated these challenges with a shrewdness and determination that still resonate in the annals of history. Her influence extended far beyond the confines of Egypt, impacting the wider Mediterranean world and even shaping the course of the Roman Empire. Cleopatra was not just a queen, she was a symbol of power, resilience, and allure. Her story is a testament to the strength and influence of women in history. Known for her intelligence, political acumen, and charisma, Cleopatra's influence extended beyond her beauty, shaping the course of history during her time.